guys oh my gosh i am vlogging <laughs> sorry about all the bags in the bag you know where i'm going to another event to do some interior design Ooh. and we are traveling in brooklyn today i would like to show you guys so i'm gonna flip the screen so you guys can see what i'm seeing if you've never been to brooklyn um I'd say you could go, but just be careful. All right, so I'm going to, <laughs> no shade, no shade. Um, but let me flip it around, okay? Okay. All right, guys, so this is Brooklyn. And I don't even know what part of Brooklyn we're in right now. Do you know? Um, based on the maps, this is like near the Eastern Parkway, if you guys have ever gone to um, Brooklyn there. It's um, near there is where we're traveling to. It's so funny because I have this light on the top of my camera and people are looking at me so strange. Although I'm in a driving vehicle. Uh, <laughs> people are really nosy here. And in, in, in New York overall. All right. But um, this is the average road of construction in New York. And I'm gonna switch this to cinematic since it's like so much bumps here all right hold on all right so this will help keep the video a little bit more stable because if i left you guys on the other option that i had available it would be all over the place so anyway like brooklyn's a great place like it's very diverse here i lived in brooklyn at a point in time i went to college in brooklyn as well at some some point in time and i took um graphic arts and design many, many, many years ago. And I did that in downtown Brooklyn, which was cool. And since then, Brooklyn has been evolving. They have the most diverse food stores that I've ever seen. And what you're seeing now are brownstones. These brownstones have been here for a very long time. And brownstones are very nice if you've ever been in one. Um, but it's one of a kind and they have a ton of them in Brooklyn uh, so um, some of these places could be landmarks or very historical for all I know but you know obviously they rehabilitated some of these brownstones and now they have a lot of different like fancy shops every store on the corner is a bodega if you don't know what that means it's basically like a corner store and you can have so many corner stores and um some occasions in some parts of new york or any borough in new york really you could have four corner stores in one distance from one another so for example you'll have a corner store there you could have a corner store there a corner store there and then even a corner store here <laughs> and they all do something a little different. Like somebody has the best steak and cheese sandwich. Somebody has the best Lucy cigarettes. You know what I mean? Somebody got the best hero. And then, or somebody has the best variety of Lay's chips. You know, it's always a different reason um, why there's four bodegas on each corner. <laughs> or one bodega on each corner of one block. So here you'll see the park. I'm just giving you guys a quick view. You'll see a zoom in and in and out because this this function's a little different. Um, there's a park as well. These are the schools that they have around here, or at least in this area. Usually they're closed on the weekends. Yeah, I mean, everybody's just kind of merging out. Today is the first day that it's like 70 degrees and everybody's been kind of cooped up in the house. So this is probably the most people I've seen outside in a while. And I rarely travel to the city, but, and when I say the city, like, I mean, Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, etc. Yeah. Oh, this is a really nice, cool building. Look at that. And they have a little diner. Okay. Late night snack, who this? Pizza, oh. New York has the best pizza. I don't care. I've been to many places and New York by far has the best pizza. I don't care where you at. <laughs> you gotta come to New York City and have some pizza. 
I can't say the boroughs, the different boroughs pizza are good, but New York City's Manhattan pizza is the best pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. They had, I missed it, but they had like a, a free food vending machine. Can you guys see it? I don't want to be zooming in on a lady, but they had like a little fridge and you could go in and grab whatever you wanted. And it looks like it says class and community fridge. And they have bags available for people. I think that is the coolest thing. They have bags available for you. And it's like a refrigerator. I love that. They call it an Instavent. That is so cool. I think that's nice because sometimes people are really hungry and they don't have anywhere that they can go to get something to eat. So the community built that refrigerator and people could just put food in there. How many times do you throw away food in a day? I know I do. If I'm out and about, I'm not saving no food. Not all the time. This is one of the biggest warehouses over here. Um, looks like you can get your tires fixed a little bit down there. Can't zoom in with this. You'll see a lot of graffiti in the different boroughs for sure. Um, but that's not abnormal. It was a big thing out here in like, I guess the 80s, 70s. They was putting graffiti on everything out here in these streets. And it was their art. So that was cool. But now they're making a lot of these buildings like more modern. Like if you look further down there, that building is going to be up pretty soon because I could see it and then they have like the little terrace outside I mean it's not that best view and a lot of times they'll do that in different boroughs right like they have to kind of like moderate the income in the area and the different type of people that live there um so it won't be like gentrified and then also too you'll see like not so safe of an area or good looking of an area and then you'll see like a building like this that they'll build up just to kind of balance it out but like who wants to look out the window at a flat fix tire spot by jim joe in 2022 who wants to do that i don't know that i want to do that so a lot of these places here in new york too like you could put in for an apartment like a lot of people's dream is to live in manhattan right but like at what expense like one studio in manhattan could easily go for like six to eight grand depending on where you are for a studio not a one bedroom a studio if not more sometimes so nobody wants to pay that amount of money so they'll enter into this if you qualify you get enter into a lottery and uh you submit your paperwork and if you're chosen as long as you qualify you can get into a new build building just kind of how you saw back there and it's like half the rent if not even less than that so i mean that's an option for some people or some people just putting out for rent signs just right in front of their brownstone, which is crazy to me. In New York City, no thanks. Watch out. Then you have people walking across the street, they ain't even looking back, they like, hit me, I'll sue. You know, oh, look at this, you know. So here's another one of those buildings, one of those new buildings. And yeah, a lot of times you'll see like, even restaurant now being built first and then looks like there's office building on top of it and then residential on top so they're really trying to stack high like new york we don't have a lot of space here so what they're doing now is stacking high <laughs> you know like if you don't have enough width you'll just stack and that's just kind of what's happening right now so yeah this is how it looks this is obviously during the day right now it's like 4 30 so this is kind of how it looks here. If you've never traveled to Brooklyn, I wanted to get you guys out the house once and like give you a tour. And I'll try to get this up this weekend. And I want to start posting at least twice a week from vlogs. 
I'm still debating on the days because it doesn't always work out like that. And um, shorts have been working out better for me statistically wise. You guys know I'm a data head. Like I love statistics and analytics. So like based on my analytics, I don't know how yours is looking. Uh, I need to stick with the shorts <laughs> to get to where I need to be. But don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And the most important part is to subscribe. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to try to post more for you guys for sure. We are almost at our destination, guys. So, I'm going to just kind of click off just to isolate any type of, you know. Yeah, let me just. Okay. Let me let me flip y'all over. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I think this still might be on cinematic. I'm gonna leave it on here and see how I like it, you know, cause it kind of has like that um, virtual kind of look, the cinematic feature, it's different. So today's outfit is all black, all black, all black. Um, and that's just kind of what I wear when I go to events, just because usually vendors typically have all black on and I, I can get dirty easily. So guys, today, the hair for today is that hair that I got from Amazon. Not that first time. I went, I, yeah, I went back to Amazon to get like, I think I told y'all like, oh, I don't know if I posted it. Basically, it's like, like a clear band that you can kind of, you probably saw it. You put in your hair and it hides under and then it just hangs down. But the one that I got has uh, clip-ins as well. So I just got like two packs. It was pretty affordable. Like really affordable. I just It's just basically a thicker patch of clip-ins. That's all it is. Otherwise, this would have taken me a while. But it literally took me like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of hot, y'all. Hold oh, on. Let me put down this window. And I'm holding a phone up too. Jeez. But I miss y'all. I'm so excited. Um, all right, cool. So I'm almost there. I got to set up. I, just lo I love what I do on the weekends. So anyway, ta-da. Toodaloo. Bye-bye. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> I will talk to y'all soon. And I'll probably give you guys some more content tomorrow when I log on. So peace. Organic beauty. Hey guys, I'm back. Watch it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen, I, this is why I don't come to New York City. These oh people, God, they be bro. running out in the middle of the street like Grand Theft Auto, like real life, true story. I'm from Harlem, so. <laughs> what? It's all crooked. My camera? Yeah. They be all right. Yeah. What? All right, guys, like, first of all, I finally got my light. I got to show y'all what that looks like in the next clip when I get home because if I take it off, y'all ain't going to see me like this. But um, we are still in Brooklyn. First of all, we, all right, we did that event. But guess what happened? Oh, my gosh. It was crazy. At first, every All right, y'all, I'm back again. Sorry, we had some uh, technical difficulties. All right, so listen, let me tell you what happened when we was there. Everything was good, right? Like it was, it was, um, the event was like, I guess like a pre-wedding. They were from, they were a, a certain culture, I won't say, cause I, I told y'all I try to keep things private. I don't want nobody seeing this video and be like, hey. hey, hey. But uh, they was from a certain culture and basically, that's it, that, that is it. <laughs> We're gonna try this one more time, y'all. <laughs> My patience is like this thin at this point. And you can kind of see the light, but that's what that... <coughs> Yeah. We gonna try this again. Obviously you can see the light because um, I had to put it on. <laughs> I had to put it on the visor. <laughs> Cause I had to improvise. Yo. <laughs> what? You can see this whole thing right here. Well, it was probably yeah, like, it, the, the camera's crooked at this point. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like the how you had it. Yeah. They only see only half of me always. 
Sorry, y'all. Let this get crazy. I'm trying to. He don't want to be on tape. Honey, like now I got to edit all of this out. Oh, Man. Lord. Let me just, let me just, okay. Let me help y'all here. All right, it's good. We back. <clears throat> oh, where was I? So, in their culture, the day, I guess, the day, I think they're getting back. See, this is what happened when you were in Brooklyn. <laughs> just randomly see somebody outside with the biggest speaker you've ever seen in your life, like it's the skate key, and then you think it's a public announcement. I'm trying to get through this story, right? So, let's get through it. I think they're getting married tomorrow from what the MC was saying and how he was saying. But basically, they have like this pre-ceremony for people to come together, their family and friends. And they have, they, they, it's like a little party or whatever like that, right? So, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I mean, I just only try to get that out before. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, everything was going good. You know, it seemed like it was more of a mature crowd. Normally, we we throw events that people are between, I don't know, maybe like 30 to 50-ish, but closer to the 30-year side of things. Um, and yeah, that's it just, you know, it's a vibe. But sometimes when you have a more mature crowd, People are shy, they don't really want to engage. And obviously we have, um, I heard that. We have, <laughs> we, we have different entertainment at these parties, right? So it could be really anything. So depending on what it is, like you, you saw the last time we had the hookah, 50 year olds ain't trying to do no hookah. Somebody, somebody just asked me for a, a hooker. I was like, dude, like what? And it was an older dude. <laughs> I was like, no, we, we not, we not. We not we don't offer that service. <laughs> Call the uh, back one uh, eight hundred in the back page or whatever. <laughs> Get on that and then you find somebody. But either way, it was a really good event. It was super positive. Everybody was happy to be there. This was the first time that it was like over seventy degrees around here in these streets, and I really wanted to like do some gardening in my backyard. You know what I mean? Like that's the type of day I wanted to have and spend time with my husband and all of that but we gotta work that residual income gotta have that extra cash flow you know what i'm saying like this is where it's at so bottom line is it was a good time we always have a good time our events are like three hours tops right so i want to say this event was four hours we granted an hour and i want to say the second hour in Oh my gosh. Thank God they had tents and we were under the tent. It was a tropical storm, it seemed like. Wind was blowing everywhere, freaking all of their stuff, the linens, and food was the, the woman in foil. It was just crazy, you know? It was a small party, you know, like I said, for family and friends. So they didn't have like top of the line stuff because, you know, if they had all of that out there. For sure, that wind would have just like blown. I would have been okay if I was them and like whatever got blown away, I would have been okay with it. Cause I didn't have to spend much on that. You know what I mean? Cause like again, it's like when you have a small gathering with your friends and family, you don't need all of that. They know the vibes. Say some ducats. So tropical storm came, stuff was just getting wet. All my decorations get wet. Like they have their own tent. Normally we have our own tent. But when you have a party that's limited to space they kind of set it up the way that they want to set it up and then when they do that it limits us from certain protection so our stuff was getting wet again like it wasn't a big deal like this has happened before and um when it comes down to decor we stay within a certain range so i'm never mad if it got wet that can be replaced or repaired so it didn't i didn't mind that it was just really crowded and I was getting really nervous because whatever plug they was plugged into kept tripping. And I was like, why is it doing that? And it was just like, cause of the rain. It was raining that much that it was tripping. And then one of the guys was just wilding out on, on a dude 
that was playing like a live band like your wires are getting wet blah 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 like where am I right now and then like after that happened I'm like I know our wires are protected because we only use like outdoor wiring so like if it's if it rains on it, it's okay you know what I mean but like not everybody does that you can't be having a 99 cent plug and thinking that oh rain gonna get on it it's gonna be okay you gotta look into that you know if you're gonna have your wires outside make sure that it is protected go to home depot typically they're very helpful and they oh see somebody you saw that lightning well that camera yeah you come to new york try to run the light or try to make a u-turn where you're not supposed to click click <laughs> click click you'll get a nice little bell in the mail but uh, um yeah that had <laughs> <laughs> you can't stand when I say that. Uh, that happened, and I was just like, yo, when is this about to be over? Because it was like, I even got an alert that our house was having like a tornado in the area. And I'm looking through the cameras, and I'm like, all you see is just like the trees and, and leaves flying all over the place. I'm like, yo, we gotta go. My cat is home by itself. Like, <laughs> what is going on right now? I'd have taken him with me. No, I'm just playing with y'all. <laughs> now, anyway, it was a really good time. It wound up start. It stopped raining like, oh, I want to say it stopped raining maybe a half an hour before we were going to leave. So, and then that part of the ceremony was a surprise to the, to the bride-to-be. So, she didn't know that they were going to be there. So, when she hired me, she, was, she thought it was going to be lit, but... It wasn't it wasn't as lit as she would have liked it to have been. I felt so bad for her. See, my customer service is on point. I told her to give me a call or something out. Just this ain't right. But uh um, yeah. Oh, let me get you out. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. He don't be liking to be in. Remember he used to be liking to be in? He don't like being no more. It's alright. Right. <laughs> so now we are driving back probably gonna go get a snack real fast and we're gonna chill we're gonna enjoy our weekend the rest of it and that's gonna be that i'll probably catch up with y'all tomorrow or later and our uh yeah we'll see i probably will stop in the wawa because i need to use the bathroom and wawa bathrooms are pretty well i can't speak for all of them but the ones that i've gone to have been on point so yeah and there's nobody in there usually I'm like the only one. But did go to Popeyes. I never have Popeyes. I haven't had Popeyes in months. Like at least seven months. Was it? Yeah, yeah, seven months. But Popeyes lemonade is good. I'll tell you that. This whole thing, the time has been freaking. Anyway, listen, I'm going to have to run because, you know, you can't be having your lights on in a car like this at night. I mean, I guess you could, but I'll take the risk, right? So, I'm going to catch up with y'all either. If I don't get back on tonight, then I'll get back with y'all tomorrow or later. We'll see. We'll see. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Guys, I'm back home. It's the next day. I am so sad. I'm gonna have to go outside right now. Let me make sure my alarm is off. It is off, okay. Oh my gosh. We had the craziest storm yesterday. I think I mentioned it in the vlog. We had a tornado over here. And my husband went out earlier. I'm going to go out now and see like what was done. I mean, I've been like doing lights on the patio area. I, yeah, I added more lights. I'm going to show y'all that after I show y'all the damage. But um, I wouldn't say it was crazy, a crazy amount of damage, but things did get damaged. Um, so um, let me just take y'all with me. It's a little cold. Y'all might hear the wind. So Forgive me in advance, but let's go. Hold on. I gotta get out. <laughs> okay. 
Oh my gosh. We gonna see. He was telling me about it, but okay, come on. I'm gonna show y'all what I did with the lights in a minute. Oh my gosh, this is like when you live in the woods <laughs> and you're a homeowner, it's the risk. All right, so let's go. This is like one of our sheds. I'm gonna show you how it looks. All right, come on. All right, so yeah, he told me over here, look, all of that came down. The winds were crazy. So it's supposed to look like that. But all of it came down yesterday and it flew everywhere. Only a little bit stayed. So now we gotta get this repaired. Oh my God. I am like, I am so mad about that. Well, for now, let me show y'all his man cave. It's still in, in progress. It's, it, I mean, it looks a little busted right now because we are gonna repair this whole thing. But let me turn on the light. So we gonna turn this into his man cave. This is basically another house. <laughs> we gonna get everything, the floor done, sheetrock, insulation, all of that. And we gonna turn this into a man cave. So keep watching, you know, we gonna try to do this over the summer. It has electricity in here. Probably have like a little office desk here, sectional over there, pool table over here, darts and stuff. I don't know, we're gonna keep these shelves. But everything in here is fine, which is great. Cause like, <laughs> yeah, these things are not cheap. Most people don't have sheds this big and this is like a shed. So let's go. Let's look at these panels. Yeah, all this is gonna be painted. We didn't do anything. So let me, um, that's another one of our houses. We, we have like a lot of different areas that we're gonna do some stuff. This one doesn't have, it's so junky in here. But look, this is one that fell off. All these obviously been there for a long time, so those need to be power washed. And this is another shed. This is gonna be, y'all. I'll probably take y'all with me when we do this, when it gets a little warmer. But you can see up there, if it rains again, it's over for us. If it rains and it's like heavy. So yeah, we just use this for storage, but oh my God. Yeah, so we got a lot of work to do. We gotta, we gotta power wash all the lights. When it gets darker out, I'll show y'all how it came out. Hey guys, I wanted to show you how it came out. One of them didn't charge properly, this one, but the rest of them did. So this is how it looks after I straightened them out. It looks so cool. I love how it's like super flat. So the other one should be recharging tomorrow. But yeah, let me show you the garden. Definitely straighten them out. They look much nicer. So I still got more to do back there. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Yeah. It's not even like super dark out either. But yeah, I love this. <laughs> I went crazy. These. This one is like dying out. I don't know. But like you see how those look there, I'm going to replace these with those because I just think they look so elite. And then I'm gonna put some more right there. But yeah, came out so cool. So you can kind of also see the properly. I mean, it goes further back, but I wasn't trying to go way back there. Yeah. 
cute. Love it. But this is so cute. And I had got these from Walmart. Super cute. I love it. So I wanted you guys to see it from another vantage point. This is from one of the bedrooms and you can kind of see all the way out. I took off the flash so you can actually see it. Let's it let it focus. Yeah. It is so cute. I can't really get the whole thing because of the uh, umbrella. But you can see how it is. But yeah, I'm definitely going to take those same lights and put it here. Because it is a worthy. <laughs> they uh, came 12 in a pack. So I got two packs. So I will be getting another pack and I will redecorate this area along with that area over there. I'm so excited y'all, oh my gosh. But these are solar lights that I got from Amazon. So I'm excited about that. So I just kind of straightened out all the lights because all the lights kind of like either blew away or um, were like tilted and stuff like that. I'll show you how to garden too. All this stuff got to be power wash. The winter's going to be brutal. All this will look different when it gets nicer out. But yeah, I basically straightened out all of these lights. It's a beautiful space though, for sure. But yeah, I straightened out all of them. We're pulling up the weeds now. We're gonna have somebody come in and do gardening. Cause I do a little bit, but not a lot. That tree fell right there. It's crazy. But for the most part, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. It could have been like really bad. I didn't even check all the way back there. Like all the way you see all the way back there. I didn't check anything. But yeah. Oh my goodness. But thank God, like thank God it wasn't like terrible. But yeah, it was definitely a tornado. I'm gonna head back in because this is what we need be. Yeah guys, so we are safe. Um, we are definitely safe. We weren't home when this happened. You know what I mean? So, um, not that it would even matter, but like when you hear something like that, that could be really scary. And I was like super scared because <laughs> I'm at the event. And I'm looking at the cameras. I'm going to insert a clip how bad it was. It was really, really bad. One minute later.
But like I said, thank God. God had our back and we were good. I see some trees back there fell. Some of them were already like, that's like the city's property all the way in the back. Like ours is fenced off. It's a, um infinity fence, so it doesn't even look like, you can't even tell. But um, I want to say it's over, like a little over an acre that we have. But back there either is the city's or one of our neighbors. But a couple of trees fell back there. I looked online, people's like fences got ruined. But yeah, for the most part over here, it didn't get hit bad. We've never experienced that before in our life. But like, you know, we have farmland, <laughs> basically. So all of the neighbors um, areas farmland too. Like even down there, you'll see, I'm not even going to try to zoom in, but you'll see my neighbors, they have um, farmland over there. It was crazy. It was definitely crazy, but we are safe. We're good. We're happy. And that was that. I want to show y'all um, the equipment because I, I want to upload this video. So come with me. I've had to take in my, my little flower set because it was crazy. It was so much rain. All right, come on. Y'all come with me. I got to shut it down. Let's go. Oh, let me take off my shoes. All right. So let me show y'all the equipment since it's still during the day and I have some natural light. Don't, don't mind the mess. Really big lights. So y'all can really see everything. All right. So <laughs> I'm not getting on camera because I look like a hot mess. But I did want to show y'all the equipment. Let me see if I can move back though. All right, so this was the, the the actual light that I was using. This is from Amazon. This is so cute. Just took it off one of the settings. So it came with a USB cord up here, right? So you could definitely use that to plug in wherever you got a USB outlet. And I don't know what that extra size for, maybe a different type of USB you could charge it up by, but it's definitely rechargeable. You can make the light brighter or dimmer and it has the on and off switch and most importantly it did come with a clip so you can use this clip to just clip on your phone so let me put this back up hold on all right so i'm going to put it there just for demonstration purposes i'm going to turn it on so that's kind of like the golden looking kind of light that is crazy bright. Let me turn off this light so y'all can really see how bright this light is. That's a bright light. Crazy bright. So that's the second option. This is a little dimmer. I think that's the golden option again. Bright, yeah. So one, two, three. One, two, three, yeah. So three different features. I love it. I love that. And you just hold on to it and it'll go off. <laughs> Let me turn this on. Just get y'all some more light. The next thing I wanted to show you guys were these cool mics. These are also rechargeable. So you see the little piece right here? That's what you would charge. You could clip it onto your shirt or whatever. I'm gonna just put it on my shirt. It's kind of big, but it works. And maybe one day I'll test it out with you guys. You tell me what you think. But yeah, that one, it came with two mics. Here's the wire it came with. So USB charge. And so what you would do is you would put this right into your port on your phone where you would normally charge your phone. The mics are wireless. And when you edit your video, you don't have to adjust both mics separately. It's just very, very seamless. Yeah, so you're still open, uh, you, know, you know, you're editing your video as is, you know. And um, most importantly, it does attach to Bluetooth. So don't just put this in and then think that it's working. You have to A, turn it on. They have an on and off switch here, right at the bottom. So let me put this down. So this button right here, 
you basically turn it on. Let me turn it on for y'all. I'm working with one hand. So when you press it, this might be dead. You press it, you'll see a little light that will come on. I haven't charged it. Oh, you see it, you see where my finger is on the right side, where it's blinking? Yeah, so it's looking for the Bluetooth. So you gotta tap, make sure you do this, because I didn't do this and I recorded a video trying to play with it and it, it, it just basically muted the whole video. So make sure it's A, connected to your Bluetooth, B, that you actually turn this feature on and C, that you put this piece inside the piece in your phone where you know you would go to charge. This would be um, good for iPhones. I don't know how it works for Androids. So I can't vouch for that, but my husband did test it on his phone. He figured it out and that worked out for us. So I will definitely be using that. And the last thing I got was this stand. So this stand is pretty cool, right? Because you put your phone in there and it's super secure when it comes down to your phone. Will I use this outside? Absolutely not. Especially in high weather, high wind weather, not. No, no, no. This is an in-house use. It does stretch out further. So I'll do that in a second. But I wanna show you guys all the features. So you put your phone in there vertically or horizontally. You can put it in vertically and then you can turn it to where you wanna turn it. But it's definitely, you can rotate it. It's 360 once you put it in. It's hard for me to show y'all. You obviously could tighten this part right here as well. And it has a little remote, which I love. So you take the remote out. The remote connects to your Bluetooth. I'm curious to see, can I connect this and the mics at the same time to the Bluetooth? Possibly. Usually you could just do one at a time. But um, you know, you can zoom in with this. You can zoom out depending on the type of phone you have. This could be used with the Android I read on Amazon. If you guys want any of the links to these things, let me know. This is... How it looks when it's on you don't have to leave it on here either you could just kind of carry it around with you you know but it's cool that it has a placeholder so i just clicked it and it kind of clicked off so it seems like it's still connected to my bluetooth so just be mindful to disconnect it but that's that and i want to try to stretch it out more so i'm gonna have to get up and stretch it out best way i can all right so this is how it looks stretched out you can push it down obviously to make it more stable on the floor but that's as tall as it gets that would be the only complaint well it's two complaints a it's not good for outside i don't trust it b it don't get that high so you got to wind up putting it on top of something it's a good tripod for in the house. <laughs> I'm going to just be honest with y'all because, you know, I, I keep it 100 when it comes down to products. If it's a good product, I'm going to give it a prop. If not, not so much. So, yeah, this will be good for that. Um, I'm going to put this back on the dresser so I can show you guys from a different vantage point. So, of course, obviously, I would never have it that high unless I need to. But what I, one of the things I do like is if I'm cooking and I want to show you guys something, I can turn it down. You gotta obviously tighten it up here and make sure your phone is secure and everything like that. But I can tighten it down and it can show what I'm making. So you have different different viewpoints. So this is definitely something to consider. I did keep all the boxes though. So this is what the camera box looks like. That's the brand. Take a screenshot. All this stuff was fairly affordable. I say it was less than $50, I'm sorry, less than $100 for everything. This is the microphone box. I don't know that it has a name on here. Two-pack wireless mini lavalier. Okay, yeah, just ask me for the link. It'll be easier. And this was the box that the tripod came in. And it goes down to that small too. So you can actually see, you can walk around and put your phone in there and stuff like that. So this is the brand, Bluehorn. 
everything came with instructions so you know you won't be left to fend for yourself but yeah i wanted to show you i wanted to promise i promise you guys you guys i was going to show you and another add-on that i bought was this it's a little out the way this part comes off like i can take this all out this thing has been here for a little bit but basically what i do is i would hang if i wanted to advertise a clothes a clothing piece let me see i'm gonna get a clove, a piece of uh, clothing, something that's not gonna fall off. Let me see what I got, what I got. All right, let me just take this jacket. You can obviously twist the hanger to where you need it to be or clip it on to make it a little bit more secure, balance it out. But obviously I would have it pressed and all of that. I like it because when I'm steaming my clothes, it's easy to put up. Or if my husband asks me to steam his shirts or something like that, it's perfect. Because I can steam, it's not touching anything, and, I, and I'll be done with it. So it's a nice add-on to have. Obviously, it's a little big with the legs. Let me show y'all. the leg. So this, to me, is like, it takes up a lot of space. And this is why I put it in this corner. But it's a very pretty color. This is like a rose gold color. This I did not get from Amazon. But I can certainly get the link if you really want it. So you guys know I love for my subscribers to communicate with me, ask me questions, engage, all that good stuff. So yeah, let me know if you want the link to this. I am not being sponsored by any of these people, <laughs> but I think I'll be buying good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna fix my stuff. So let me show you guys how it looks. This is adjustable. So it's this is at almost at its highest. Nope, that is that it's at its highest. Look. So it goes all the way down. Let me see. Um, I'm gonna just take it off so I can show you guys how it looks off. You press the button. You probably got something like this. Hold on, let me take it off and then bring you back on. All right, I just took it off. And this is the piece. I'm gonna place it down and you can see how long it is, right? So I just placed it down, but you can't even tell it's there because it blends in and I did that on purpose. <laughs> so it could go, I don't wanna pull it all the way out, but it could go as low as this nozzle here where my finger is. So it'll wind up being like this short. So let me put it back in so you can see how it looks when it's shorter. All right, so this is at its shortest. So it definitely holds it, it's super sturdy. This is heavy duty, guys. Like, this would normally be at a store. But you see how low it is compared to what it was before. And I just put another piece of clothing there. Perfect to show you guys. Like, so example, if I was filming, I would obviously make this shorter and would have a perfect vantage point if I was over there giving you a tour of that jacket. So if you guys are content creators and you are sponsored by someone or if you just have your own business, this is something you can consider to you showcase your clothing and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is, I wanna say this was maybe about a hundred bucks, a little bit more after taxes, but certainly very reasonable, fast shipping too, super fast shipping. And one of the things I like about this, and I don't use it clearly because of the lack of space between here and there, it came with another side. So this same piece that I showed you guys earlier also has a piece that faces the opposite direction. And you can showcase two pieces at one time. Now, of course, if I needed to do that, I just pull it out into the middle of the floor and then do it that way. So I still use it, but one side is good enough for me for now. I don't normally leave it in there. I just had it in there because I had things to do yesterday and I had to press things, but this is something that you could have and, you know, enhance yourself. Yeah. So guys, um, I think this is the end of this vlog. I don't want to keep it too long. I'm trying to like limit the time span on my vlogs. The next vlog, I do want to go over this fancy stuff that I had purchased um, and speak to y'all about all of that. Um, there's so many ideas I want to, <laughs> to go over with you guys for sure, you know, because this is just like, this boutique did not look like this. If I could find a picture 
when I do a tour of this boutique, I will slide that in at that time. But I want to show you guys what it was before and how I got it to look the way it looks now and what my resources were and uh, researching and sources in terms of buying things and all that. I've gotten a lot of compliments on this closet, aka boutique, and I want to encourage you guys to make your own because this is a bedroom technically and we don't have a walk-in closet. So I just made my own and y'all could do it too. So... Because I got such an overwhelming response, I want to dedicate that video to the ones that have been asking me about certain pieces that I have in here and just kind of give you guys a better idea of what you could do to get it similar at an affordable rate, if not the exact same. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I miss you guys so much and I cannot wait to speak to you guys in the next vlog. Bye.